Guys, we got him. He doesn't even know he's hooked. Oh, okay. There he goes. Thought he came off. Okay, he's starting to whip now. Okay, now he's starting to go. You couldn't do me a huge favor, could you? Would you be able to run to my car and get a fishing net in the back seat of my car if I gave you the keys? Hey y'all, welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Today we've got one rod in the car. We're gonna do some potential pond and creek hopping. I got a spot I haven't visited in years and we're gonna try and fly fish for carp. I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of requests to try this, and we're gonna give it a shot. If it's a massive failure, that's okay. Our first stop is gonna be, well actually, we're at our first stop, which is the UPS store. I'm shipping off this signed Yee Yee Filthy Frog. This is that Guggen Squad Yee Yee color. And this is going out to Scott Peskowitz. I believe it's out in Ohio. Anyways, he's gonna have some fun catching top water on this. He was the first one to comment Yee Yee giveaway on the post where I said I was gonna give that frog away. It was one of the ones that I fished in the Yee Yee video. Let me get this shipped off. We're gonna go to Shields today. We're gonna grab some carp flies. I saw they had a carp section. We're gonna take a look at it. We might also grab some new stuff for bass just in case the carp doesn't work out today. Cause I'm going to a pond I haven't visited in years uh, where I did see some big ones and they were loaded in there. So if I do have an opportunity, this could be the spot, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Let's go ahead, ship this off, and I'll meet you guys over at Shields. All right, there's the sun now. It is still super windy. I'm gonna try and grab some carp flies. If they don't have a lot, or if this isn't gonna work out, we're gonna bass fish today. I plan on grabbing some streamers as well, or some different uh, fly baits that I've never used before, regardless of today's episode, so something new and exciting. I just don't know exactly what it's gonna be until we get into here, so let's go check the stock. Okay, we made it to the fly section. Looking for the carp baits so some stuff physically said carp last time I was here I'm almost positive we are gonna find out oh a shrimp so all these say carp over here and they're not really a carp pattern like as far as a color so I think that means they're designed for carp and I'm curious if I could get a carp to eat this this looks this looks pretty big is that truly a carp bait it says carp teas it looks kind of like some stuff I already grabbed though that has potential. I'll get that. Hey, yeah, Weston. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, you brother. That's <laughs> cool. I was like, here's the camera. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Hey, thank you. Look at this little guy. See, now that looks like something that they would eat. I'm going to grab that. Now, these fly baits can be deceiving. These can be like 50 cents a piece, or they could be like five bucks each. So, uh, that is one thing to keep in mind here. I don't know if my rod is capable of throwing this. I think I found the stuff that you would use if you want to start tying your own flies. Oh, gosh. Y'all been telling me to give that a shot. Also, I do need to grab a net. I actually brought a net today. Uh, it's definitely not a hundred and forty dollar net. Actually, it could be. I got it for free. Actually, never mind. I got. I kind of stole it from Guggen HQ. Uh, but it's a kayak. It's a yak attack net. It's kind of like a two piece foldable. Definitely doesn't fit the backpack as good as these here. But like I said, a little bit of a savings. What's going down, Austin? What's up, Leslie? I have a question for you. What you got? Will a car beat this thing, or is that not my uh, this this big one? Probably not going to be your best bet. You're, I kind of thought so too. You're going to see more panfish and bass on that. Okay. See a carp. Should I grab something over here that could work for a carp? Um, or do you think it's not going to happen? <laughs> we don't have any at the moment. Fair enough. Uh, but they're by rainy. So that's what I that's what I have. But I don't know if that's. Do you know if they do they like flashy color or? See, like the color is more of what I'm looking at. So when I'm looking color, I'm looking more of like this? a sharp truce color. Exactly like that. So maybe I should buy this little guy. <laughs> Chartreuse special. Wait, you're trying to catch some crappie too. That's going to smack crappie. Well, there's a pond I saw that had like some big carp on it. Okay. It was like loaded. So I, I figured I could entice one to maybe I would say bite. the best bet's going to be your yellow. As long as it falls in front of them, I mean, they're, they're just the vacuum cleaners of your pond. So this they're is just going to pick up and whatever's there. I don't think today's the day for it either because the wind is like crazy. <laughs> like cold would probably be ideal, but yep. maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so we got the shot of the carp. Let me grab these. We're gonna try for the carp. Let's just go try and catch some fish. Let's make a quick drive down the tollway and see if this spot uh, is any good. I gotta say, the spot I picked, just because I've seen these carp in the past, could be a total bust. It's like a 30 minute drive. Who knows if they're gonna be out there or not. Hold up. The setup is looking money. Okay, nice boat, sir. All right, we're on the road. We're here. Got the fly rod. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. This is probably one of the first few videos of this combo. So if you're still new to the fly stuff as I am, Orvis Hydros TFO Legacy Rod. Go ahead and grab the other pieces here. 
four piece. I think it's nine foot, six weight, all the goodies. I don't know what fly we're gonna rig up first, so let me just grab the backpack tackle box and we'll uh, head over to the water. Got a little bit of a journey to the spot. Okay, so this is the pond. I'm trying to be a little quiet. Cause I know how these things like to be skittish sometimes. Around this island right here, there was so many carp last time I visited. It's also busy with golfers today. I have seen some bass logged in this pond on fish brain. So if I don't see any carp, then it's kind of a failed mission and we might just go for bass. But let me walk this thing and I'm curious if I'll see some hanging in the shallows. See, there's a drain. I wonder if they can even potentially like migrate in and out of this pond. I mean, there was so many of these last visit though and they were huge. I might see them. Oh, I see one. He's right here. No way. Y'all, it's about to go down. That's sick, man. I knew there was carp here. All right, I gotta be quiet. Let's go ahead and uh, rig up our fly. Chartreuse, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go straight for the chartreuse. I don't like that there's no scent and it is still really small. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we finna find out. There she is. I don't think this is a traditional either. So let's see what happens if we don't get kicked out right here. It was just the cart girl. We're in luck. Uh, just getting started. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there's carp roaming the bank and they're nosing up. Okay, some of them are just cruising. They seem to like the other side better where it's not as uh, windy. But if I find one, I think the way I'm going to get it is almost just dropping it down in front of their face rather than casting at them. But the fight is what we're after. We want to fight one on the fly rod. That would be so crazy. Got him, got him, got him. Guys, guys, we got him. He doesn't even know he's hooked. Oh my gosh. Yo, we got one. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even realize he's hooked yet. He doesn't even realize he's hooked yet. I don't even think it knows it's hooked yet. Oh, okay. There he goes. There he goes. Yo, we are hooked up. Oh my gosh. This is a big one too. I'm gonna try and get him over here to the bank. This is gonna be insane. I have a feeling this thing's gonna really freak out. <laughs> it's so windy, y'all. First carp on the fly rod. No way. Oh. Oh my gosh. It hasn't started to go crazy yet. I don't know if this fish is like, it's just, it's staying low. I'm gonna try and walk him over here to the bank and see if we can land this thing. He didn't even know he got hooked. It's such a small hook, you guys. I think that's why this fish is still relaxed. I have a feeling it's gonna get wild before we actually land this fish. Big carp on, there's been so many golfers. I don't even wanna get in their way either if they're, if they're teeing off. So where I'm at is in a good spot. If I was on that side of the lake, it would be a little bit trickier. This thing is not coming to the surface, y'all. This is gonna be a long fight. Hey, no, this way, this way, this way, please. This way, please. I don't wanna go that way. Oh no, he's going out deep, y'all. This could get interesting. I mean, this is a heavy fish. This is a heavy fish. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Okay, he realizes, he realizes now. He's taking us out to the fountain. This is not good. I only have one chartreuse fly. This is not good. I'm gonna have to wear this thing out. Ho, ho, ho. I really, oh my, I gotta tighten this drag up, huh? I like, give it, oh, okay. Uh, not too tight, Weston. I wanna make sure this fish can still pull. Otherwise he's gonna snap me off. But I wanna bring him this way. I gotta get him to the bank. If he takes me out in the middle towards that fountain, I'm sure there's wires too. All kinds of stuff to get hung up on. I'm gonna have to try and muscle this fish on this six weight rod. Oh my gosh. You can feel the weight of this fish through the rod. He's not playing around. Low key, I think this is gonna be a 30 minute fight. Y'all, if you're not following us on Instagram, you have to go follow Weston Smith. There's two underscores in there. Weston underscore underscore Smith. You'll see all this stuff days before the vlog actually hits. You'll get a preview ahead of time. Okay, we're getting closer to the bank that we need. This is what we need. This thing is gonna go wild when he sees me at the surface too. 
I think we are just getting started here. Austin, thank you for the chartreuse recommendation. Carp take and drag on the Orvis, man. This is so sick. Why did I not bring the net? This fish can do whatever it wants. I mean, it has the muscle. Oh, he's not coming shallow. I haven't really tested these hooks before, man. This is a little micro hook. Luckily, I'm rocking the same leader I was using for bass fishing. So I wanna say this is like 12 or 15 pound, just cause I was using top water the other day and I knew it didn't matter. So it's not a tippet that tapers down to like a, uh, you know, like next to nothing as far as the test. As soon as I get it close to the bank, it, it runs. And it hasn't even seen me yet. It has been a seven minute fight with this guy and I don't think I'm any closer to landing him. I need a net. God, if I had a net. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't try too hard or he's gonna go. Yeah, he does not like the shallows. Oh, there he is. He's waking at the surface now. He's, oh, 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 I thought he came off. Okay, he's starting to whip now. Okay, now he's starting to go. Okay, 10 minutes in and all of a sudden he decides to go. I can't control this fish, y'all. Look at the tension I'm putting on this rod. If he's going right, I'm angling the rod left. If he starts to swim left, I whip the rod over and I angle it right. I'm trying to keep good tension here without keeping that drag to where it's going to snap when he decides to make a quick run. I really did not think we were going to be able to make this happen. I hope you guys can eat, at least see this fish. Carp fishing on the fly rod. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm texting my buddy. Best way to land a carp with no net. Come on, man. Come on. We just crossed 15 minutes in, y'all. I hooked this fish at 430. Here's my buddy Andy texting me. He says I got to jump in. Here we go. He might come up shallow. He might come up shallow. Come on. Oh no, don't take me over there. Look, there's another carp. Look, there's another one. Don't go that way. Oh, he's big. I just saw his tail. Things just getting stronger. If he starts running, I'm gonna have to chase him, but I, I don't wanna I don't wanna remove myself from this good landing spot. Where's the cart girl? I need the net. Oh my gosh, y'all. 24 minutes in, this fish is going out deep. Come on. What am I gonna do to top this fight? I'm gonna have to catch a monster trout or salmon or like we're gonna have to go vent trout for like some tarpon or something. This is this is ridiculous. 25 minutes in, I gotta give my right arm a break. This is like Whew. Look, he's not giving in at all. This could last an hour. I'm, I'm fine. I want to cool him out because when I get him up here, I'd love to get some pictures. Why did I not bring the net? I knew I should have brought the net. Hooked him at 430. What on earth is happening? I think he might have me on a tree. Please no. A big one. Let's see it. Oh, he hasn't even come to the surface. What, you got a carp, you think? Yes. Big one. 29 minutes on the hook. He's chilling. You sure it's not long? He said, is it a log? <laughs> I'm not very experienced with this. It could be. <laughs> That's pulling pretty hard for a tree stem. I think we're wearing it out. Someone bring me a net. Does anybody want to bring me a net and be featured in this episode? Time check. Almost 40 minutes in, it's 5.07. You couldn't do me a huge favor, could you? Would you be able to run to my car, which is that which is like right outside your lot and get a fishing net in the back seat of my car if I gave you the keys. On the corner, yeah. It's like, it's in the parking lot, like literally, uh, like right over the hill. Okay, it's not like far in the lot. Yeah, as long as you don't tell them, I'll help you out. I, I won't tell nobody. In fact, if I could like get a drink or something when you come back, I'll give you something. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Uh, white Subaru STI. It's like a four door sedan. Yeah, it's got a little roof rack on it. Okay, and then I'm getting some of the there's a There's a fishing net in the back seat. It's like folded in two pieces, you can't miss it. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. And no rush if you get busy. Like if you got stuff to do, it's all good. Yo, the cart girl is going to get the net. Yo, Jimmy. Did you land it? No, look at this. He's chilling, dude. The cart girl here is going to get the net out of the Subaru. It's like a mile away. She's taking the golf cart to go get the net, bro. You just got nothing too right. I made a couple different laps around it and I saw like four total. Dude, one was a koi. Well, that was FaceTime with Fisherman Dad Jimmy, y'all. He saw the stories was in the area. Okay, it's decided to go, y'all. 44 minutes in, homie's teeing off right now. Oh, just saw it surface. Y'all, second time to see it surface, 45 minutes in. Thank you. I can wait for him to tee off if you want. And if I can get something, what do you yeah, got over sure. there? Yeah. What, what you got? <laughs> Thank you. You get a beer or like a mixed drink? Uh, let me get a, uh, just like something simple like Mac and Coke or something. You got that? Yeah. Why not? Gotta celebrate. Got the net 45 minutes in. Would you believe it? The turn of events. Holy smokes. Appreciate you. If you want, you can even just set it down because I'm going to try and hold on to this guy. Yeah, no, no, no. And then if you will just, yep, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yep. What's your name, by the way? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there a way to tip you or no? You want to, you can just tell me how much you want to add. Yeah, if you'll just go ahead and put 20 on there for you, that'd be dope. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. that was like a huge help. People fish in these ponds or not, not really? They do. They do? <laughs> All right, that's a deal. Huge shout out to I don't want to get her in trouble, so I might just bleep out the name, but she just literally went to the car for us 
she got the net. I wanted to leave her something, so I was able to get me a little uh, Coke with, um, I got a cup of Coke to celebrate. Now at least I think I have a fighting chance. Even if I break off, I'm like so thrilled. This is hooked at 4.30, it's 5.20. It, it has been almost an hour. We're 10 minutes shy of an hour. This thing is not surfacing, but now when it does, we can hopefully land this thing, get some pictures, and let it on go and be on our way. What a day, dude. <laughs> How does this happen? Cheers, y'all. Almost an hour in. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to gain a little bit on him. I don't want to just let him go all the way out there because he will find something to hang me up on and I do not want that. No. How do I still have this thing hooked? Getting riled up, y'all. There's a dust cloud right here. I'm truly nervous that when it gets to the bank and sees me, it's gonna whip and it's gonna cut the line. That's kind of like my worst fear right now. SD card still good for two and a half hours. All right, sit. My leader's not even that long, so if I see the leader out of the water, I expect to see this fish, but it just stays low. Update the time check. It is uh, 5.43. It's been an hour and 13 minutes. Anytime I get this fish close to the bank and I decide like, okay, I'm gonna lead more into the rod. I'm gonna get this thing to come up to the actual bank and we're gonna get this thing. That's when it decides it wants to take off again. This is insane. I've, I don't know if I've ever fought a fish for an hour and 16 minutes and it doesn't even show signs of giving up. This could be it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. So as of the time I'm filming this video, a lot of my subscribers don't fly fish necessarily. And we've had a big influx of viewers because I'm starting to do this. But basically you can't have your hand on this real knob, okay? Because on a bait caster, if you have your hand on the knob, the fish can still take out drag, but me, if I have my hand on that knob and it wants to run, it snaps. The reel does have a drag system, but if you put your hand on that knob as it's trying to spin backwards, you'll just snap the line. So you gotta be very careful that you're only reeling and then you're, so if I, if I put my finger there, it can't run anymore. That's dangerous, see? It's been a give and take. I'm just letting it go and then I'm trying to do as much as I can with the rod. I'm trying to really put tension and I'm bringing it in a little bit right now. And then I'm gonna crank that as I bring the rod tip a little bit closer to the water. I'm gonna try and use that rod as much as possible to really absorb as much of that tension. And then I'll just reel as I crank the rod down. If it decides it wants to run, I let go of the reel entirely. All you experienced fly fishermen, this is second nature, but for folks that haven't fly fished before, you gotta let that drag do its work. And I'm pretty sure everyone who goes by me assumes I've just caught on a stump now because I've been in the same spot for a long time. Come on, man, the fans wanna see you. <laughs> Miracle this thing hasn't overheated yet. We're getting close. He's at the surface, y'all. He's getting tired. He's giving in. This is insane. This is that kayak net, so it's got a little spot for my arm right here to kind of leverage him out of the water. Six o'clock, y'all. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, hour and a half in. All right, we gotta go for this fish. It's coming up. There he is. That's a big fish. That's a giant. Come on, baby. Give in. Give in. Give in. Oh, we had it in the net. We got it! We got it! It's a giant! That thing is so heavy. Oh my gosh, there's no way. What on earth? How do you even hold these fish? Gotta get a, like, a photograph somehow, but I don't know how to... I wanna see what you weigh too. Insanity. Craziest fight of my fly fishing career. You got it. You got it. As the sun is setting, that was absolute insanity. If you could feel my lower back pain, September we turned 30 y'all and I think I'm feeling the effects. Either that or it's all those Hank power cleans at CrossFit yesterday. I don't think that would have been possible without the car girl. How did we get so lucky? I literally could fall asleep in the grass right here. I'm so tired. I didn't just have my drag loose for fun either. I tightened that thing up to where it was like borderline gonna snap. There's a fray in the line that I saw. This little tiny micro fly, it was yellow. Now it's like the color of sand. Orvis Hydro 3, matte blue. TFO legacy rod, six weight, and then some Rio fly line for bass, like smallmouth, but it's just, it's, it's warm water line. No glasses, no shoes on. I think it was almost 20 pounds. Yes, there's plenty bigger, but on a fly rod, insanity. Last bit of the sun peeking through. We gotta grab all this stuff. It's like a mile walk back to the car. Let's roll. Do you know how low of expectations I had coming into this that I was gonna actually catch a carp on the fly rod? Especially when I got here and I didn't see a bunch of them. I only saw a couple. I circled the pond. I'm not gonna show all that footage. I circled the pond three, four times. Spent like 45 minutes just looking for one. I saw that guy up against the bank and I was like, 
maybe I could get this one. Every other one I spooked. His nose was up against the wall. I dropped the fly in front of him. I had to recast it multiple times. I had to get it in just the right spot. When I dropped it in front of his nose and I saw that yellow disappear, and I like, I don't even remember if I strip set it or just raised the rod tip, but when I felt the weight, I almost couldn't believe it. And he didn't either. He literally didn't even know he was hooked. He didn't start shaking at all right away, nothing. He kind of just cruised out a little bit. I hooked him halfway out over there and we were able to somehow, cause he ran across the pond. Like, I don't, I can't even count the amount of times he ran across this place that I tried to reel him back in. But somehow we were able to stay on this little sandy bank the whole time. I'm really surprised he didn't run so far that I had to like run around the pond. I got very lucky and I was trying to keep the drag as tight as possible. It's super windy, I hope y'all can hear. It's 624. I hooked that fish at 430. I wish I could have gotten more pictures with it, like with me holding it, but there was nobody here around at that time. Anyways, I hope y'all really enjoyed that. Let's head over to the car. We got a long drive home. We got a long walk to the car. We'll catch up with you in just a second. Anything fun? Uh, I just fought a carp. It was 20 pounds. Just got him in. Nice day to be throwing line though. Whew, it really is. Yeah, same for golfing, huh? Yeah. This is all right. I'm not really sure if this will fit in here. Nine feet. Just give it a little assistance. That's not sketchy at all. There we go. <laughs> From the very front of the floor mat to the rear windshield. We'll count it. I'd say it fits. Wow, y'all. What a journey today to have zero expectations of going out and actually making that happen. I, I would say, you know, 5% chance of maybe hooking up into a fish. I beat a stop at Chipotle on the way home. I forgot to film the outro at the car and <laughs> I'm ready to do more fly fishing, more bass fishing. I have been switching up the content recently. I hope you all are enjoying it. We're seeing an influx of new subscribers, uh, which leads me to think this is uh, something you all do like. And with that, hopefully we can get out and do some bigger trips, target things like trout, maybe even do some crazy salmon fishing, maybe go out and just uh, do something new, right? But how can we accomplish that? It's absolutely with your support. So it's at this point in the video, if you've made it this far, you're already a legend. I would love for your support with a like and a subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, we film mainly bass fishing, right? But we've uh, incorporated the fly fishing content recently. We've got a John boat, we've got a bass boat, we've got kayaks, we've been getting out trying to make this our full-time career. It's definitely a passion of ours, working towards the goal of going full-time with my wife and I. So about a little over a year ago, it was, uh, it was like St. Patrick's Day of 2020 is when I stopped working because of the uh, virus and I haven't gone back since. And I've just been focused on the channel. And that is why it would mean so much to me if you would just simply share this video with someone you think would find it interesting as well subscribe to the channel we hope to see you here on future videos now we'll let the dogs back inside enjoy this chipotle and hope to catch you all again soon on some future content with that being said peace out